Look Rudy. It seems that Rudy, uh, Rudy Dijon is Gloria Swansong's brother and Gertie's son. You surmise that Swansong must be Gloria's stage name. Rudy is a handsome man and any woman would be attracted to him. But you sense an undercurrent of hostility in Rudy, a sense that he should not be crossed. More specifically, Rudy is having a drink while relaxing in his room. Ask about Fifi. What was that about? I know what she's after. I got her completely pegged. Um, I don't think so. Ask about Gloria. My sister's a swell girl and I don't like to have people say otherwise. By the way, your mom's dead. Tell about Gertie. That can't be true. Not mother. Yes, go look. Maybe he'll have better luck finding her. A short time later. You're loony. There's nothing there. Ugh. She's dead, though. I won't fall for that old gag again. Fine. Talk to Rudy. You know, Laura, you're a very attractive girl. Great, okay. Are you really friends with Lillian? You don't seem to be her type. Come on over here. Relax. Have a drink. No way, buddy. Don't be afraid of me. I won't bite. This might be a good time to leave. <laughs> be like that. I don't care. You've upset Rudy. He doesn't want to talk to you anymore. Aww. Um, okay. So now... I forgot to do this in... Uh, more towards the beginning of this game, but I have to go into Wilbur's room, which is right next to the Colonel's. Oh, hello, Colonel. Tell about Gertie. You don't fool me, young lady. You're just trying to get my goat. What? What is goat? What? Maybe it means money? I don't know. Um, okay. Here's something I find kind of annoying about this game. See the stuff on the fireplace? You can look at them all. Like, look at jar see nothing special. Look, plant. See nothing special. Look, cannon. It is a miniature replica of a cannon from the Spanish-American War rendered on pewter and wood. Take cannon. The colonel would notice it if it were gone. Okay, so it seems like there's nothing really important about it, <clears throat> but the truth is you have to look in the cannon which I wouldn't expect anyone to figure out, but whatever. You see a tarnished brass key hidden inside the barrel of the cannon. Take key. Young lady, keep your hands off my belongings. Okay. We'll have to wait until he's gone. Okay. It doesn't appear that this room has been used in a long time. <clears throat> However, it currently seems to be the guest room of Dr. Wilbur C. Fields. There's only one thing of importance in this game, and it is that little black bag. Look, bag. It is Dr. Feel's bag. Take bag. Okay, look in bag. Right. Well, we just have to see that it's there, so that's all that was for. And now... I'm going... Okay, this time I'm going to Fifi's room. Fifi's room is by the stairs. Actually, it's upstairs. Up here. Go on. The stairs lead to a third level of the house. There is a doorway in front of you and another to the right.
open door. The door is locked from the other side. That's okay. This is Fifi's room. This must be Fifi's room. Although her room is in the attic, she has fixed it up nicely. Oh, I know that song. That's cute. Um, look, Fifi. Fifi is the colonel's pretty French maid. You surmise that she is probably very apt in their duties, her duties, whatever they may be. Fifi is blonde, French, yeah, no. I'm making up dialogue. Fifi is young, blonde, and sexy. Although she seems to have a vivacious personality, you can sense a certain cunning underneath it all. Fifi is primping at the vanity. Oh, mademoiselle, excusez-moi, but you should not be in here. S'il vous plaît, mademoiselle, allow me some privacy. I will be out soon, mademoiselle. Please, mademoiselle. Um, I think that's all you can say to her. <clears throat> Ask about Rudy. Mon dieu, he is nothing but trouble. Ask about... Um, Henri. I love working for Henri. He is a wonderful boss. Ask about... Whoa! Damn! That's loud. I'm turning this down. But she is quite fond of Jeeves. Uh, turn off, because that's loud. Um, yeah. What was I doing? Ask about Lillian. I do not like to talk, but Mademoiselle Prune does not like me. She always gives me the dirty looks. Uh, oh, tell about Gertie, because she is dead. Oh no, Mademoiselle, I am sure you are wrong. The night here can fool you. Everyone is in denial. Nobody even goes looking for Gertie to make sure that she's alright. Um, now I'm going to turn the volume back on. Yes? Okay. So now... I'm going to see if I can open the cellar again, because I really want to get something down there. I might edit this and just speed Laura up. <laughs> we'll see.